A longtime domestic violence prevention advocate in San Antonio has now been tapped to run a statewide organization. Yeah, Marta Pelias tells our Courtney Friedman she is honored to be elected as chair of the Texas Coalition on Family Violence. It's part of Courtney Friedman series confronting domestic violence, loving and fear. When it comes to domestic violence, Marta Pelias is already a highly coveted leader for her knowledge on the subject. The number of programs that we have created in San Antonio that have been piloted throughout the state. She's the CEO of San Antonio's Family Violence Prevention Services and Battered Women and Children's Shelter. And now she was just announced as the newly elected chair for the Texas Council on Family Violence, the only nonprofit joining organizations from all over the state bringing advocacy, guidance, uh, uh, preparation, um, and representation before state legislators and federal legislators. To head an organization of that magnitude, an honor for Palias. To be able to share with the community those e emerging trends that TCFV is uncovering uh, when it comes to allocations and and federal allocations. She said understanding those statewide trends has been crucial during the pandemic. Palaya says 228 Texans were killed by intimate partners in 2020, a 23% increase from the previous year. She plans to address the isolation and stress contributing to those numbers, as well as specific issues like guns in the hands of perpetrators. So many judges uh, do not ask for the guns when they have the perpetrators in front of them. The workload worth it, knowing she'll now be able to help save even more lives across the state. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.